Alrighty then. Uh, yep, another uh, Melinda Harmon uh, video. And uh, yeah, she, there was another final order that I received. I guess it was filed the day after, um, I think. Well, anyway. Um, so anyway, it says, On this day, in the action pending between plaintiff um, me and defendants um, Sydney, I mean Cindy, um, I won't say the last name, but it's a fake name. Um, and then she goes, um, Jones R, and then, um, you know, the Mexican guy. The irony here, well, anyway, we'll get to that. The court issues its opinion and orders that plaintiff claims must be dismissed as a matter of law, and the court hereby orders that the plaintiff take nothing and that defendants, and then he uses these names again, uh, be awarded their costs. Um, now, this is really funny because, well, first, there's no billable costs, okay? I mean, you can only, the only, the only cost you can get as a pro se are, um, the costs of, of filing fees. So like when I went to the appeals court, I had lots of costs. I mean, postage, time writing, documents, all that stuff. Now, if I was a lawyer, I'd get paid for that. But because I wasn't a lawyer, all I get is my filing fee. That's all I can get back. And that's even in, that's an appeals case. Now, a regular federal case, this is very, very rare that a judge will ever apply costs Okay, because no, what it does is it basically tells people you better not file a lawsuit protecting your rights because then the it's like in the OJ case they filed a civil case against OJ Simpson. Now, by this judge's theory, if they couldn't prove that civil case, OJ would have been able to sue them back for millions of dollars in in lawyer fees. Um, so wouldn't that have been ironic? Let's say they didn't prove it, and then OJ would sue. The, the, the family of the murder victims for money. Now, what, you know, it would, it's ludicrous, okay? So this judge has, again, she's crossed another line of just demonstrating her grotesque pettiness, right? Why? Because I'm an American citizen who exercises his free speech rights and voices his honest opinion, an opinion he will, he will polygraph any federal judge in the United States I will challenge to any polygraph test any frickin' day. All right, so I'm an American speaking my honest opinion and this is the crap I get from a federal judge. She is going to award cost to uh, the first named defendant, okay, who perjured themselves on the federal form. They swore to certain facts on a federal form it says right on the form, you are subject to perjury. So here she has defended someone who has committed federal perjury. The same thing is true for the Mexican. He signed a form saying, yes, I will concede to United States federal court jurisdiction. And then he waved that in the camera, right in video, and laughed at federal court, United States federal court jurisdiction. Another person she is defending here. Right? Why she persecutes the fucking American citizen, all right, who has committed no perjury, who has not lied about anything, and she is persecuting that American, right? While she lets these people go free. And then on top of that, the Joneser thing, like I said, where I can demonstrate Joneser's grotesque. I will go through his document and his outrageous accusations he made in legal documents. Um, and this is this is this is what we get. This is the justice system. Petty weasels on our federal courts. A petty weasel is the only fucking way you can describe this bullshit. This is like I said. This is never done. You just don't play with this. You don't start giving defendants legal costs in cases like this because it just like I said. Any small copyright holder, if this is the way it works, why would they take on? Um, MGM, or why would they take on any big corporation if they could be nailed by, you know, for, for millions of dollars in legal fees because a judge thinks that that's okay? It's okay to persecute somebody for trying to defend their rights? Amazing that she would do this. But obviously, there is no cost because they don't have any lawyers, so I'm off that hook. But, I mean, this is just how petty she is. So, in, so, so in, in, you know, to return her pettiness, I will make a Melinda Harmon is a dot, dot, dot video every day for the rest of my life. 
or until this judge is properly sanctioned for her behavior. Properly something, admonished by some authority in government says, yes, there has to be accountability. Judges are not going to be allowed to be petty fucking weasels on our courts. We're not going to allow petty weasels on our courts. So unless that happens, Belinda, um, I'm going to get to know you very well because every day we'll go through your legal record. We'll go through what's on the internet about you. I mean, I've already read your Wikipedia page. Apparently, your so far your claim to fame is, is that you made some rulings in the in Enron cases that were overturned on appeal. So, yeah, not brilliant. It's not a it's not exactly a page full of brilliant legaling. Okay, not a great career so far. But who knows what you did while you were a lawyer? I wonder how many lies you told while you were a lawyer. But that's what lawyers do, isn't it? Isn't it they lie? Um, so I don't know if I can get those kind of documents, but I'd love to read your legal opinions. I'd love to read your judicial opinions, every single one of them, because I wonder how much consistency there is there. Because what seems quite apparent is that you will twist and turn the law to your convenience depending on the circumstance. The law doesn't mean anything. The rules don't mean anything. You're just going to play out your fucking petty will, okay? You are a menace. Not only to the United States Constitution, not only to the American people, but to the human frickin' race. You are a petty, nasty, nasty person. I wag my finger at you in disdain and contempt. <laughs> you know, so yeah, uh, enjoy it, okay? You want to play these kind of petty games from a federal court bench. That's how seriously you take the power that's been this boat, but you, you have tremendous power to do good in the world. And this is what you do with your power, is defend perjurers, provable perjurers, provable. That's what you defend. Quite brilliant, Madam Justice. Okay, and, and your staff. We'll go through your staff to you, the little, the little court weasels you have working for you, your little clerky weasels who probably wrote this crap for you to sign. Okay, <laughs> these people who can't do enough research to realize this is an outrageous step to take. Okay, outrageous to award costs in a case like this. Outrageous. Oh yeah, I said that before in the other video. Be a lot of that probably. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll be, I'm working on my um, my motion for reconsideration, so expect that in the mail, <laughs> okay? And then we'll go to the appeals court, and we will see what happens there. I think we know what's going to happen there, but in case it doesn't happen, then we get to go all the way to Washington and file ourselves a little one of them cantori things in the Supreme Court, because this cannot be upheld. This behavior must be stopped. There's no, if the courts are allowed to play these kind of games, there's no fucking America. All sense of accountability, justice, any notion of, of principle is thrown in the toilet if this is allowed. This kind of petty crap from a federal bench is allowed. So there. Till next time. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah.